everyone! Welcome to live stream number 192! It's August the 2nd, my name is Lars Christensen, and today's topic is Fusion 360 Tips and Tricks Shortcut Keyboard Keyboard Shortcut Keys uh, uh, for faster modeling. Glad I'm not making living talking faster. Hopefully we can do it inside of Fusion a little bit better. Got Darren here, we got Tommy. I'm a little bit early, clock is ticking. If, um, if, if you're watching the recording, I don't blame you for fast forward two or three minutes and we'll get stopped right on, started right on the top of the hour. Got Randy here, Norris, let me just check. Uh, that's all on the YouTube. Let me just check on the Facebook also. Mr. Lars Christensen there. If you wanna find me, looks like we are absolutely live there also. Woo, it is awesome, love it. Oh, it's got a bunch of people in here. Good to see you all. Yes, so this is part of the latest release uh, inside of Fusion 360 where you can now customize your keyboards and uh, that can um, speed things up quite a bit, I think. So uh, that is what we're gonna cover today. But like I said a little bit early, the clock is ticking down. We'll get going in about two minutes. What should I tell you? What should I tell you today? Um, you can see we got Jürgen here. Good to see somebody from Denmark. David, Bernie, absolutely appreciate all of you guys taking the time today. Um, next week, oh, tomorrow we are going to do CAM. Um, tomorrow we are going to do, um, we actually gonna try something new tomorrow, I think, what is actually getting the Stepcraft uh, CNC cutting uh, with, um, um, with a drag knife. If you even know what that is, you can cut stickers with it. Uh, that should be cool. Next week, uh, I am out. Might try to do one on Thursday, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll definitely be out. I will be in Plano, Texas uh, to do a general design workshop there. That is that new feature inside of uh, Fusion 360 Ultimate, where you can get the computer to actually first time do some work for you. Um, still spots available. So if you're interested in going to Plano, Texas, email me. Email address down in the description below, lars.christensen at autodesk.com. That is also where you can send any future live stream requests you might have if there's something uh, you would like to see. All right, so we are on the Facebook, we are on the, on the YouTube, already got 38 people in here. Absolutely appreciate you guys taking the time. Uh, today is all about uh, the new functionality inside of Fusion. Let's take a closer look at uh, the shortcut uh, keys that you can now assign inside uh, of Fusion. So, with uh, about, I don't know, 10 seconds left, 15 make it, let's get going. See if we can actually get started on time today. Let me just switch over and get the, uh, the clock off. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, and welcome to live stream number 192. My name is Lars Christensen, and uh, this is just an attempt to add a little bit more value to your Fusion 360 experience with these daily live streams. Today's live stream is tips and tricks and shortcut keys. So uh, you can now, um, talk about the Stepcraft, the Stepcraft just yelled at me. Um, <laughs> it's ready for tomorrow. Uh, you can now uh, program um, your own shortcut keys for Fusion 360, something new. And that's what we're gonna take a, a closer look at today. I believe that uh, this will absolutely make your life easier if you wanna model a little bit faster. So, let's take a look at that. Let's jump over to, uh, to Fusion 360. If you watched um, the live stream I did earlier with uh, all the what's new, we kind of touched on this a little bit, um, but today, um, it's probably not gonna be a long live stream, but today we wanna get a little bit closer into that. The idea is that inside of Fusion, um, for the last, uh, how many years have been there, there have been shortcut keys. So if you hit the sketch dropdown, you will see that, uh, for example, L was assigned for line, T was assigned for trim, O for offset, and so forth, you're looking in here. Uh, you will see that uh, E for extrude, uh, Q for press pull, F for fillet, and so on. You can see those all sitting uh, right there. And they are all 
uh, assign keys uh, that you can hit those on the keyboard and um, and then boom you uh, you get that function love it I am a big fan of shortcut keys um, I have always used it in my cat software whenever I could and if you are watching regular here you will hear me say D for dimension and so forth but now it got better because now we can customize uh, these keys ourselves placing them pretty much wherever uh, wherever we want on the keyboard and here is my favorites now I'm gonna do this a little bit different uh, because I um, I actually have something to show you I let me just uh, let me just flip over to me for me yes <laughs> for me to me for a second check this out um, I hope this is not too blurred but on your left side you should now actually be able to look at my keyboard look here comes my my fingers coming in here and then over on the left over here we um, we have fusion <laughs> uh, I love I love uh, playing around with, with new tools so um, here is my point when it comes to uh, shortcut keys and, and I gotta say too I would love your feedback as always in the comment area but you can see my shadow over the keys as I'm moving my hands uh, but um, my point here is that how can you be faster and I believe that the fastest way to use short uh, shortcut keys is on your left hand if you're right-handed hold your mouse in your right hand and then use your left hand uh, to, um, to, to, to work with those menus on and that is why you will only see that I really only have the left side of the keyboard available here um, the problem with the shortcut keys today and I know how they did it um, you know P for project D for dimension F for fill it um, O for offset I understand what they did they took the first letter and matched it up um, but when it comes to shortcut keys in my opinion it's all about speed and that's not what we can do uh, over here so let's get into it um, I'm gonna start over here on the screen and uh, let's start with the first shortcut key well the first shortcut key for me will actually be this icon up here it will be start a sketch so uh, if you click on the sketch dialog uh, you will see that the first one you get here is create sketch well if you move over to uh, these three dots and click on those move over you can now change a shortcut key so if you click on that move the menu over a little bit here so you can see it and my shortcut key for creating a sketch will be F so see my finger coming in there hit F now it will show you over here that this conflicts with the filler tool <gasps> you think well you know I'm gonna talk about that in a minute uh, but um, I am going to say yes to that and overwrite the filler command with an F that means that with that assigned if I hit F then to the right on the screen you should see it starts a sketch right there it comes up and uh, selects a plane and we can now go we can select the plane to sketch on and uh, and we are now uh, ready to sketch so F for start a sketch now another thing we're using quite a bit inside of fusion and let me just um, let me just switch over that is end as stop a sketch all right now I gotta <laughs> this sorry this is uh, fairly new to me all right here we go um, <laughs> this is all different cameras this is a little but normally when we're done with a sketch we will go over here and do stop sketch or uh, a stop sketch down here right that's what we what we normally do back to uh, back to me here I gotta switch between the screens to do there you go um, now if you hit the drop down so we just assigned F to create sketch down here is stop sketch click on those three change that keyboard shortcut and I will do that to G so that is sitting right next to F we just assigned F I'm gonna do G on that one hit OK so that means now if we hit G we will end the sketch now we didn't sketch anything of course we do end up with a sketch down here so again if I hit F we can start a sketch if we hit G then uh, we can we can end it so 
So the idea behind this is not so much that the letters over here make sense to what we're trying to do. It's more about having the letter. You, you will, it will not take you very long to realize where these are and then you're just doing it, uh, you know, as, as you want. Now let's open up a new sketch again. Hit that and we're gonna select the plane to sketch on. Um, the next one um, is C for circle. Well, that's not, that's not a new one. C for circle have been there all the time. Um, I would leave that one for sure. So hit C for circle and uh, just sketch a, oh, you can't see it, sketch a circle here. Uh, right, so so that I am I'm okay with. I'm gonna leave that. I'm actually also gonna leave D for uh, dimension. That is perfectly. That's two functions I'm using quite a bit. So D is gonna stay there too, and uh, and then we can put some kind of a dimension on on that circle. One I do use a lot. That is uh, my center rectangle you've seen up use that one on the s key now the s key cannot be assigned to anything and the reason the s key cannot be assigned to anything is because if you hit s key then you get this menu here what we just talked about in another live stream perfectly okay just you know that's your shortcut key pretty much for your search functions um, if you start searching in here you can search for things so definitely don't forget about that one but the center rectangle is one I, I like to use a lot. The two-point rectangle already got the R assigned to it. Um, that is fine with me. Uh, but the center rectangle, I use that one a lot. So hit the three uh, little areas here. And uh, I am going to assign the V key to that. So C for circle, V for the rectangle. Now that will conflict with short and hide. I don't use short and hide as a shortcut key, so I am okay with that. Now, just remember, I'm okay with you totally overwrite my suggestions, but now we have to start a sketch, we hit F, to end it, we hit G for a dimension or for a circle, and now if I hit the V key, we are in the center, uh, center rectangle, just like this here. Again, D is the good old, um, old function of a, uh, a dimension. All right, so that kind of like sets those in there. Now, when you, have, when you have drawn all your sketch, all your different stuff, then we normally like to do um, a press pull. That is Q and that have always been Q and that is perfectly fine for me. I can reach it with that left hand, my travel. Everything has to stay within kind of this workspace right here. So Q for press pull, we can select the menu here. Let me just drag it over. I'm going to see half my screen and uh, hit OK to that. So that is, um, that is kind of our, our press pull command there. Now if we're going to start another sketch, instead of working up and clicking on the menus, we can now just hit F. Start a sketch right there on that face. Um, another one that I want to get in my shortcut here is the line tool. Now the line is L for line, but if you're like me and you're trying to be more efficient with your modeling, if you look at your keyboard right now, L is very far away from your left hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to line, hit the three small dots, change this, and I'm going to change this to an X. That conflicts with the construction line uh, that you see over here. But as I've talked about in my live streams before, we don't use the construction lines really much inside, or I don't use it much inside of Fusion, so I'm okay with that. That means hit X on your keyboard and our line tool is active, um, and we can now start drawing up um, a line here. Okay? Now, another tool I use uh, quite a bit, uh, in, in you will see me use, is project. P for project. Now, P, if you get a look on your keyboard, is very far away from your left hand. So, go to sketch, project, go and click on the three dots, and I'm gonna change that on my keyboard to be A instead. Now, be aware of that you can actually go pretty far with uh, some of the the, um, the commands in here. So you will see that it says on the screen that there's conflicts with appearance. I don't get appearance by hitting A anyways. Be aware of you can actually do like 
shift and A, so you can add that, or control and A. So you can do that if you if you want to, but um, so you can really go deep if you want to. But for this year, I'll recommend that you just stay somewhat focused on the keys right here, at least in the beginning. So I'm gonna hit A for project. And now when I hit the A key, our project command comes up uh, and we can now uh, project um, edges, right? So we can do we can do that. Let me just hit D for dimension to, to add a, some kind of a dimensions with this. Q for, um, you know, for press pull that we haven't changed. I will still still leave that uh, right in there uh, for that. Now, I said before that I started this whole thing with this new sketch, create new sketch. I took the F and uh, that meant that I overwrite the fillet command that have always been signed to F. Remember that the press pull command will actually let you do a, a fillet. If, uh, if you select Q for press pull and you select an edge, it automatically becomes um, the fillet tool. So be aware of that you have actually always had uh, the fillet tool in there. You can actually go in, uh, you can also just hold down control, multi-select edges, hit the Q, and it will always default to, uh, to the fillet. So be aware of that that command have always been there. Now, if you do want to assign it, um, I would probably assign it to the letter E, but that's up to you. So E, well, wait a minute, hasn't that already been extruded? Yes, but I mean, now we are talking Q. We don't really need, uh, we don't really need extrude because Q will give us that that too so this is optional uh, definitely and, and i and i will also say i am not afraid uh, to change things uh down the road but again my idea is to lay all your shortcut keys um right in here in in this uh, workspace the next one i definitely uh will assign and uh, if we go in here we make this a couple of components whoops that means that we're now going to talk about the joint command the joint is assigned to J. Again, that is pretty far away from your from your left hand in here. So I would probably rewrite that one. And in my case here, I think I'm gonna do it to the W sitting right up here, right next to the, so you have the press, pull, and Q, and then you can do the, the W uh, on the on the joint. So you can kind of remember remember those uh, those there. And now, um, if you ever hit the this, um, if you ever hit that, you get the joint command and you can, you know, now place uh, these joint depending on where, uh, where you kind of like wanna, wanna place those. The last thing I, I wanna kind of like just chit chat a little bit about here, and by the way, all these commands uh, that I just signed up, you can find those in the description area uh, of the video um, uh, down, uh, the description down, blah. You can find all the shortcut keys in the description area below. Now, I was tempted uh, yesterday to talk a little bit about this because yesterday we did uh, this model here. Remember that one in the sculpting environment? And what I kept on doing yesterday was in sculpting, I, I kept on going in and right clicking and doing edit form and, and why not assign, if you're getting in here a lot, assign edit form to one of these uh, keyboard shortcuts. In our case here, maybe we do Z or Z, depending on where you are. Whoops, I hit just a cancel. Z, okay, and now anytime we hit that Z key, we could get back into uh, to edit form, just saving you from have to right clicking um, and go in there. So that uh, is my kind of tip on how to use these shortcut keys. Set it up, think about it, like how can I get in here and do it just with my, with my left hand. Uh, so in this case here, F starts a sketch. I kind of like that. Uh, you can go down and hit the V key and that will give you the, the center rectangle here. I would leave the D on being uh, a, the regular uh, command for that. Uh, the as we can't overwrite because that has the shortcut, but that is great for uh, for searching, right? 
uh, C for circle will give you uh, the circle in here. That is that is not new, but what I assigned here was uh, the L key, so uh, on the X key. So try to make this a lot faster uh, in here. And if you're gonna extrude, you're gonna go to Q as you always have. If you just wanna end the sketch, you just hit a G and you, you get out, uh, out of that there. So I hope that um, this was helpful. This was one of the, one of the shorter, uh, shorter <laughs> live streams, uh, but I definitely think that if you are looking to be fast at modeling, uh, then go ahead and, and set up the shortcut keys uh, in somewhere or fashion similar to, to what I just did here. It takes you a few days to get used to, um, but I can tell you that any software that I have ever worked on where I was looking to be fast, uh, set up those most used commands to your left hand if you're right-handed, so you can keep that hand uh, on the mouse um, and or opposite if it goes uh, the other way around. That is uh, about um, about what I was going to show today. Uh, a quick comment um, that uh, there is this keystroke uh, command tools you can use, and somebody people have suggested to me where you can see every keyboard I'm hitting. Um, I'm not a big fan of them. I, I find them distracting when I'm when I'm working. I know that they are. I know that they are helpful when you're trying to find out what I'm hitting, so I know I'm confusing some people by not using but honestly, I'm not a big fan of them. So, sorry. <sighs> Appreciate it though. <laughs> That's it. Tomorrow, we are going to uh, to try to something new on the live stream. We're actually going to get the uh, Stepcraft running um, live doing the live stream. We're going to cut some stickers. I can actually maybe show you that because I did a little test. Let me just see, maybe if things are going to fall off here. Um, you see that little A stick, A sticker? Jesus. That A sticker right there, uh, that is the same one I did on, uh, when I did a cutout for the suitcase. Um, we're gonna cut a sticker like that uh, tomorrow on uh, tomorrow's live stream on camp. So first we're gonna program it and then we're gonna, we're gonna run it. That is uh, all that I'm planning on doing today. If you're watching the broadcast, I really appreciate it. If you are in the live stream, you are awesome. Thumbs up if you like this. Thumbs down if you don't. I want your honesty. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would mean the world to me if you did. That's kind of like how I can tell my boss that uh, this is worth my time. Hopefully it's worth my time. Uh, useful to you. That is the whole idea. With that, I will see you tomorrow. Take care.